This is part four of five of the OGT Universal NGS Complete Workflow Solution for CytoShore and SureSeq. The hybridization process will take approximately 30 minutes with an overnight incubation period. The following hybridization wash will take approximately 75 minutes. Make up a fresh solution of 80% ethanol. Allow the nuclease free water, index blockers, hybridization buffer, formamide and cot human DNA to thaw to room temperature. Remove the magbind beads from storage. Combine 500 nanograms from each of the eight libraries into a 1.5 milliliter low bind tube to form a pool. For each pool, carry out one hybridization capture. To each prepared pool, add 10 microliters of cot human DNA. Mix well using a vortex mixer and briefly spin the tube. Add two times the volume of beads to each pool. Mix well using a vortex mixer. Incubate at room temperature for five minutes. Put the tube in the magnetic stand and wait approximately three to five minutes for the solution to clear. Keep the tube in the magnetic stand. Carefully remove the cleared solution from the tube, avoid touching the beads. Continue to keep the tube in the magnetic stand whilst adding 500 microliters of 80% ethanol to each tube. Wait for 30 seconds to allow any disturbed beads to settle and then remove the ethanol. Dry the samples for approximately five minutes or until the residual ethanol completely evaporates. Prepare the hybridization master mix at room temperature as shown in the table Remember to use fresh pipette tips. Mix well on a vortex mixer and spin down briefly. Formamide is hazardous, so discard pipette tips into waste immediately. Add 13.5 microliters of the hybridization master mix directly to the bead pellet. Mix well on a vortex mixer, spin briefly and incubate for five minutes at room temperature. Place the tube on the magnetic stand and leave for another three to five minutes until the solution is clear. Transfer 13 microliters of supernatant into a fresh 0.2 milliliter tube. Remember to use fresh pipette tips between components to avoid cross-contamination. Add two microliters of index blockers and add two microliters of SureSeq or CytoSure panel-specific baits to the hybridization reaction. Cap the tube, mix well on a vortex mixer and spin down briefly. The final volume should be 17 microliters. Set the heated lid of the thermal cycler to 105 degrees centigrade or have the heated lid activated. Place the tube into the thermal cycler and run the program. Leave the tube overnight in the thermal cycler at 65 degrees centigrade before proceeding to the next step. For the hybridization wash, begin the next day after overnight incubation. Prepare by pre-warming a thermal cycler to 65 degrees centigrade for at least 30 minutes before use. Then for a second thermal cycler, pre-warm it at 35 degrees centigrade for at least 30 minutes before use. Allow the DynaBeads M270 Streptavidin magnetic beads to equilibrate to room temperature 30 minutes before use. Remove the Hybe wash buffer and bead priming buffer from storage and allow them to thaw to room temperature. The CytoSure constitutional panel requires the addition of the component A to the high washer buffer bottles. Refer to the table for the relevant quantities. Invert the bottle 10 times after the enhancer has been added. Per hybridization pool, 
Aliquot six slots of 200 microliters of Hybe wash buffer into 0.2 milliliter strip tubes. Pre-warm three aliquots to 65 degrees centigrade and the remaining three aliquots to 35 degrees centigrade in a heat block or thermal cycler for a minimum of 30 minutes before use. Vigorously resuspend the streptavidin beads on a vortex mixer. Add 100 microliter beads to a 1.5 milliliter microfuge tube for each hybridization pool. Place on a magnetic stand. Allow the beads to separate from the supernatant and carefully remove and discard it. Add 200 microliters of bead priming buffer per 100 microliters of beads. Mix briefly on a vortex mixer and place back on the magnetic stand. Allow the beads to separate from the supernatant, then carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Repeat wash again. For each 100 microliters of beads, Resuspend the beads in 100 microliters of bead priming buffer and mix on a vortex mixer. Transfer 100 microliters of beads into a new 0.2 milliliter tube for each capture reaction. Place on a magnetic stand, allow the beads to separate from the supernatant, then carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Proceed immediately to the next step so the beads don't dry out. After the overnight incubation, Transfer all of the hybridized sample, approximately 17 microliters in volume, to the prepared streptavidin beads. Mix thoroughly using a vortex mixer and ensure that all the beads are resuspended. Pulse spin to collect the contents. Return the tube to the thermal cycler set to 65 degrees centigrade for 45 minutes. Set the heated lid to 105 degrees centigrade or have the heated lid activated. Every 15 minutes, mix the tube well on a vortex mixer for 3 seconds, followed by a brief pulse spin to collect the contents. Place the tube back in a heat block or thermal cycler set to 65 degrees centigrade. After the 45 minutes incubation, briefly spin the tube in a centrifuge and proceed immediately to the next step. Place the tube on a magnetic stand Allow the beads to separate from the supernatant. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant containing unbound DNA. Add 200 microliters of Hybe wash buffer that has been pre-warmed to 65 degrees centigrade to the capture beads plus bound DNA. Remove the tube from the magnetic stand. Mix briefly on a vortex mixer to disrupt the bead pellet. Place the tube in a plate vortex mixer set at approximately 2000 RPM and mix for one minute at room temperature. Briefly spin in a centrifuge to collect the contents. Return the samples to the thermal cycler set to 65 degrees centigrade for five minutes. Ensure that the lid is heated above 65 degrees centigrade. Briefly spin in a centrifuge to collect the contents. Place on a magnetic stand. Allow the beads to separate from the supernatant, then carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Remove the tube from the magnetic stand. Repeat the wash two more times for a total of three 65 degrees centigrade washes. Add 200 microliters of Hybe wash buffer that has been pre-warmed to 35 degrees centigrade. Mix briefly on a vortex mixer to disrupt the bead pellet. Ensure the mixture is homogeneous. Place the tube in a plate vortex mixer set at approximately 2000 RPM and mix vigorously for two minutes. Briefly spin in a centrifuge to collect the liquid. Place on a magnetic stand. Allow the beads to separate from the supernatant then carefully remove and discard it. Repeat the 35 degree centigrade wash two more times, but reduce the time on the plate vortex mixer to one minute the second time 
and then 30 seconds the third time. Remove from the magnetic stand and resuspend the beads in 30 microliters of nuclease free water. Mix thoroughly on a plate vortex mixer to form bead slurry.